This is Mr. Tia Tommy coming at you live from the interwebs. What's up? How you doing, everybody? How you doing? Yeah, I hope you like my new wheels. Okay, at least now I know that I'm recording. Anyway, you guys, here we go. I bought a new bike, huh? I bought a 300. I got the 300. Screw my 600. I got a 300. This thing got power. This thing has all the power in the world. Unlimited power. Not really. Yo. Know, record uh, my buddy's bike. He bought the bike for himself. He wanted it. And I was like, you know what? Taking a look at it, taking a peek at it. It looks Gucci, man. Get it. Do it, man. Just get the bike, man. And he was like, you know what? I trust you, man. I'll get the bike. And he did. And he got the bike. And now I'm riding it back. The thing I don't like sometimes about this thing is that the thing right there, the thing that says I have gas, I don't got gas. It tells me when I'm in eco mode, which is cool. It's, it says right there, eco. The three little, the three, the three little bars, or not the bars, the little, little circly things. It tells me I'm in eco mode. And I gotta say, this seat is really comfortable compared to my bike. Compared to my bike, my 600, I feel like I'm on a, this is like on a couch. Like I'm sitting on a couch. This is relaxing. Like, this is really cool. I mean, I'm not saying I would ever get a 300 for myself. Um, I just I just know from riding it, this is a pretty comfortable bike. Uh, the seat's really soft. It's like Gucci soft, man. Like, I swear, I'm on a couch. I mean, it doesn't have the same pull that my bike has to really go off of. You know, like, it wouldn't thrill me. I, I can't say that. It is fun, though. What's going on over here right now? Easy now, pumpkin. What's going on? Wow. Oh, shit. Cuss. Am I getting this? Am I getting this? I'm getting some road rage right now. Are you serious, dude? Oh, my gosh. What is going on? This guy will not let him in. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. That was so much stupidity. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Oh god damn mama. Oh. <laughs> I want that ass. I wanna eat her ass. I wanna eat her ass all day, every day, all night on the block. This is a, I gotta say, it's got a nice get up and go to it. It's got some low end torque on it, um, I think. So here's the thing, this is what really surprised me. My brother's bike had a MotoGP shifter and a quick shifter installed on his 300. This one is literally stock, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, a, it's got a bazooka thing on the back, it's got a cloth thing still, it's got all of its reflectors. The only thing this female has changed is this visor. Not the visor. What is that? Wind, windshields? Windscreen? What do you want to call it? This thing. The windshield thing. She didn't even paint it. She bought another one. This is... Th this means female, right? This screams female. So, that's the thing. And my brother's bike is like super duper loud because they put an aftermarket exhaust on it. And it's loud as shit. I mean, it sounds okay. This one, it doesn't sound too bad. This exhaust thing, doesn't sound too bad at all. I feel the vibration that I get. Um, good brakes, too. You can open it up and not feel guilty. I definitely can't feel it like I can feel my bike. I think I've mentioned this before already, but I literally can't feel it like I can feel mine. I'm attached to mine, like I am at home with my bike because I, well, I've been in with it so long now. With this bike, it's like, you know, it's all right. It's got a nice tug to it every time you release the clutch and it engages, the disc engages. <laughs> and it's, it's a nice feeling, I kind of like it. It's a nice little, uh, little, uh, <clears throat> my throat, sorry. So yeah, I'm really glad he got it. Like, this is awesome. It's a nice chill bike, you know, man? It's like, it's like, I would totally, I should have done this. I should have done this when I was starting to ride. I should have got a 300 and started out the right way. But see, 
I was too stupid. I almost got a 1000 as my first bike. I literally almost got a 1000. Um, they sold it literally the night before I rolled up. I rolled up and I was like, you guys, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm here to get my bike. And, and they're like, yeah, we sold it. Giggity. Yo, but like, check this out. This fool, look at the miles. It's 476 miles on this bitch. Yo, this fool got this bike for a steal. He got a brand new, pretty much. This is a brand new spanking bike. When I was looking at this thing uh, on the Instagrams, not the Instagram, the Craigslists, and it said 400, I'm like 4,700, not bad. I'm like, no, 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 no. Listen, listen, in the description, it says 476.4. I'm like, you gotta get it. It is Friday. You ain't got no job. You ain't got shit to do. So he got the bike. Now he got all he's gotta do is learn how to ride it. That's his mission now. He's gotta learn how to ride it. Honey, what is you doing? Why is you slowing down? Anyway, you guys. Here is all of Portland's glory right in front of you. We have the big hospital on the left. We have the big banks on the right. And the big ass bigger hospital straight ahead. This is Mr. Tia Tommy coming at you live. I'll catch y'all guys in the next one. Peace. I can't lean for shit. I can't. I can't tell him I almost wrecked his bike. That would have been so bad. <laughs>